Well, hello there. I'm going to be doing a get ready with me, and I'm going to be trying on this fun Jouet Trio called Rose Gold. And I've had it for a little while. I've been trying it off and on, but I thought, why not? I would use it today and try it on and, and also show you how you can use this kind of thing to help um, use up other things that are maybe not your favorite thing to reach for, but that you already committed to, because like with me, I get stuff in in um, blockbusters but anyhow uh, so if you want to see me do a get ready with me informal talking about this and that chitting and chatting and reviewing this Jouet rose gold kit please stay tuned talk to the hand reviews hello <laughs> okay well uh, it's been a couple weeks since I've recorded it all, and um, I'm sort of like out of out of sync, I think, with it. Uh, but I am really having a great time. I'm enjoying it, and uh, I am just a little bit sort of out of sorts because I I planned a, a bunch of different things and. Uh, it just takes, <laughs> I just keep getting set back. So anyhow, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, I'm going to just put on some makeup and probably fast forward it because it, I find that my longer videos, um, you know, and it's totally fine with me. I don't mind if people don't watch any particular kind of my videos, but you know what I mean? If people like something or if they're watching something or if they're not, maybe that will sort of help me to tailor it in the direction that pleases uh, myself first and others because I want to make that clear I don't do anything really to please others I really only I feel obligated to please um, my soul my God whatever and because of that I cannot not I can't not not be I cannot I can't not be true to myself. I have to be true to myself. Which just means I have to follow my own path, even if that means going against what society thinks I should be doing or whatever. But anyhow, um, and it's always, it's always been the right way to go. I saw recently, I like the TED Talks. Do you like the TED Talks? If you ever like the TED Talks or you've watched any that particularly stood out to you, um, would you please leave it, leave it, just talk about it down below. I guess you're not allowed to do links on YouTube. I don't know really, but, but if you can just say whoever it was and the topic, that'd be cool. Cause I think that's really interesting. I find those TED talks to never be really a waste of time. Well, some of the newer ones are kind of, <laughs> I'm sorry. No, they're not. But some of the newer, the older ones, you know, that's where they got their reputation and they're not quite as but anyhow i digress there was a woman and i feel bad i don't even remember her name but she had a really good ted talk where she it was basically about uh i said i was going to be quiet and again i'm not i'm instead talking but i'll, I'll talk i'll stop talking after this point so this woman she had a really good uh point about how if you you'll you'll find a lot less oh look at I did that's what it was you'll be able to quantum leap your life by if you pay attention to your life in terms of energy frequency that kind of thing and it really made sense because that's the way I want to do what I want. That's the way. Uh, no one has ever told. No one ever told me that. But I've just. I've always lived my life that way because it has just been. It just felt wrong to do anything else. And that has never let me down. I'm not going to say things have been easy for me, 
Uh, that's not the case at all. I'd say that everything that I've ever done in my life has has involved me being sort of vulnerable and kind of uncomfortable. But looking back, uh, all the things that I did, that uh, even that I went through just to work as an artist or whatever, everything was always worth it. And I feel now that really my I, I live an authentic life because uh, I have ended up taking risks for my art and just living an unusual life. And uh, anyhow, I'll talk more about that at some point. But I did think that it made sense what this woman said, energy, frequency, because if something feels negative to me, I can't go there. It's kind of like when, you know, people are kind of just mean or argumentative. It's okay that they're that way, but I'm not drawn to be near people who are mean or argumentative. So I'm not saying they need to change. I'm just saying I'm not obligated to be near people who are like that. And so anyhow, um, yeah, so I think I'm going to be quiet and I'm just going to do makeup. Um, I'm going to try to do that. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to be too funny, and I'm not concentrating on the music, I mean, on the makeup. <laughs> See, I had to do that silly, whatever that was, Bugs Bunny, I don't know, central casting, whatever, that joke. Well, of course I had to do it. I have my own YouTube channel. You think I'd let that chance pass me by? Of course I could do that corny thing makeup thing. Okay. I'm going to stop talking again. I'm going to fix my Spock brow. I know you're thinking about my Spock brow. Okay.
Now I want, to, I want to actually stop and mention something. Uh, you know, I, or maybe you don't know, I love blockbusters, or I love it when you get like a number of things with the product that you purchase. So I have some items, and but but you know how it is when you get those. Maybe you don't, but maybe you do. A lot of times you don't end up using those products, but. Uh, I find that I use almost all of the products that I get unless I really don't like the taste of something or whatever and case in point this beautiful Elizabeth Arden lip color called uh, Mulberry Bush and it's not the kind of color I would buy actually it came with a really nice red but it is definitely a, a really nice like a neutral like like a maybe a kind of a blue based neutral and I really, uh, I think it's a really great choice for a blockbuster because most everybody can wear it, but it's not really a choice for me. Also, too, because um, for me personally, it being blue-based, I find that I've gotten older, anything blue-based pulls out green, blue veins and accentuates that makes me look a little bit more dead <laughs> than I already do. <laughs> um, but this lipstick... I don't really think it's particularly flattering on me, but I love the formula. It feels really good. So I think that this is a, an opportunity to just go in afterwards and tweak, and then it becomes something that I like, because what else are you going to do with this stuff that you get that, you know, even if you buy it and you thought you'd like it and you don't like it, what's it going to do, sit around, going to go to the trash? Go to the thrift store? I don't know. I, I feel kind of funny about makeup at a thrift store. You know, not perfume. Sealed perfumes are fine, but... <clears throat> but, um... Yeah. So, I feel like I want to use the stuff that I get. I want to use the stuff I get. So, I'm just going to blot that one a little bit. And I'm just going to tweak it with just other stuff I have to make it... Because it is a nice neutral color, and it will be a nice base for the rest. Because, like I said, I, I find that these these uh, Elizabeth Arden lip colors, they they feel nice and moist on the skin, and then they last on the mouth. 
beak, most of them that I've ever tried, uh, and these as well, that came in the Blockbuster, but they don't say what formula they are. So I can't tell you what formula they are. They don't have sangria anymore. They don't have mulberry bush anymore. So, But I do know that they have a signature red called Red Door Red, but that's a blue-based red, and I prefer more of an orange-based red, yellow-based red. For the reasons I mentioned, I'm... Um, using things that are more like even red even like red nail colors that are blue based it's just going to bring out the veins in your well in my uh, like this is not advice from anyone who knows anything this is just my feelings about things so that's just a disclaimer there but just a tip to be showing you some specific products in this video <laughs> and I, I put them here um Jouet Rose Gold Collection this is uh, two lip products a long wearing lip creme and long wearing lip topper and powder highlighter so I almost I almost forgot that this was something that I was definitely going to gonna touch on. So now I'm going to do that. So that's never good. Hope I didn't break it. Please don't break. Please don't break. Please don't break. Oh, there you go. Jouet. I'll stand up to it. Whatever it is, apparently. I want to tell you <clears throat> why I bought this kit was because of this cutie. I just thought it's so adorable. This little thing, it's gold, it's so classy. I thought it's gonna go in my little, you know, my little, uh, my eventual travel uh, pack. It's got a cute little mirror in there. And it's a really nice, um, like a peachy kind of highlighter. And I like, I don't have one like this. Uh, I have a lot of highlighters. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna just, I would say that, uh, and, and I hadn't really heard of Jouet too much before before uh, I found this at, at Winners. Surprise! <laughs> but uh, I like it. I would say, though, and I have tried it a few times. I just kept it in the box to save it to show it to you because I knew I was going to show it to you. By the way, as you get older, the you want to keep the the highlighters and stuff like way up here I almost did it kind of too low okay yeah so I've really enjoyed this Jouet I find it to be here here's a, a finger swatch I got it on myself let's see I do really like it and I really like the little tiny one um, and like I said, the kit came with these two other items. Uh, I would say though, like I would with any powder or highlighter, if your skin is at all dry or older, you're going to need to either make sure you have lots of moisturizer on your face before you use this, um, or start with a creme blush. You saw that I did that. But I think I still got just a little bit of that cakey look. That said, I mean, I think this is fantastic. And I'm definitely going to bring it with me the next time I travel. Uh, Jouet. It is so pretty, too. It is rose gold, rose gold powder highlighter. And it's a 2 gram size. Made in the USA. Well, that's interesting. 
Right on. Jouet, made in the USA. All right. <clears throat> I can dig it. Look at it. The, the whole package is really, it's very classy. I just know I'm going to feel classy when I, <laughs> when I use this in my travels. No matter where I am. <laughs> I left my little elf makeup prop out. Okay, now let's move on to the other stuff. You know, actually, these are probably good to show you, demonstrate my little, how I was saying, how to take something that you, for some reason you, you bought and it's not your favorite thing, but maybe some parts of it you like. Like this Elizabeth Arden um, blue-based neutral that, I'm, that I put on. Um, these neat little items, how are they different? I'm not... I don't really remember knowing, but I'm not good at that. Okay. One is, okay. One is opaque. So they are different. Here, I'll show you. Can I twist my arm around like that? Why don't I think of these things? Can you see that? <laughs> Anyways. Um, you know... This is the kind of thing that's really pretty, but, well, they are very different, actually. Yeah, they are very different. I think I'm going to use them both. Ah. Oh, that's nicer than I remember. It just brings that bottom lip out a little bit and gives the illusion of plumpness. Okay, well, I used this one on the bottom. By the way, I overdrew my lip liner today and my lip color. I, I don't normally, I'm not normally into that, but I, I, I don't mind it. It's kind of cute sometimes. It's an illusion. Makeup is a, it's an illusion. Surprise. They smell nice. They smell vanilla. You know, like a lot of a lot of lip products do. They are different. You know what I? I think I prefer for me this first one called. Well, they're all called Rose Gold because they're part of this collection. Mm. I like that. You know, I don't remember knowing. Is this, see, it's, some of these things are easy to dismiss unless you play with them. You have to play with your makeup. Set yourself the time to play with that stuff you think you don't like at first. And then, you know, I'm, I'm so into mixing and stuff. Uh, so, let's see. which tends to be flattering for older
my feeling about this really cool little Jouet kit of these three items, which I paid like not much for. They were $6 at Winners. It says compare at $14. Um, I just thought that they're really, really great. You know, they're great for anybody, honestly, anybody, any age, because these are not to replace anything else you have. These are additional for different reasons. Like, you could do with one highlighter. You really could. But if you want to create different looks, maybe you need more than one. <laughs> so I really like this one. I, I, didn't, I have like, like with my different kits and whatnot, I've got like probably 20 highlighters. And none of them look like this one. <laughs> you might know what I mean. But anyhow, I think it's a great bet. Plus for travel, because um, who's done a travel highlighter? Nobody that I know of. And these two cute little lip topper type items, they're both great. I love them. So I would definitely say, if you're looking for something interesting, and Jouet, I hope I'm saying that right. I don't really know how to pronounce <laughs> much. <laughs> but uh, I think this is a pretty good kit for any age, really. Oh my gosh, hi! You know what? I wanted to tell you that I went to their website and I found that they sell all of these items that I showed you on the website still. And that doesn't usually happen. So I wanted to make sure that I included it. I'm not affiliated or anything. They do have an affiliate program, but I'm not organized enough to do this stuff yet. But I will, but right now I'm not. But I just thought this was a cool little kit that I got. But I went to the website and I found all the stuff and I found the prices, so there you can see if you want to go. And you know what I noticed too? The reviews there, I didn't I didn't go extensively through everything, but what I saw, I saw the um the reviews for the um the highlighter, and I'm pretty sure that I said it was really buttery, and I think that a lot of people said that they really, really liked it. It was like buttery. I think someone actually said buttery. <laughs> so there you go. It's not just me this time. Thank you for watching my get ready with me and my little review of this fun kit from Jouet called Rose Gold. And uh, if you like this kind of content, uh, you know, makeup, fragrance, gourmet, lifestyle, whatever, comedy, a talking hand, hug Mitzi, please subscribe, like, you know, and we wish you well. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.